very good afternoon to you. And in spite of aggressive attacks by its opponents, in spite of zealous campaigns to prevent its passage and implementation, it may surprise some of you to learn the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act is in fact alive and kicking. Just moments ago, we got the long-awaited enrollment numbers for the month of October. HHS Secretary Kathleen Sebelius announcing on a conference call that just over 106,000 signed up on the ACA private exchanges in the first month. Uh, I, I don't even know what to say. I'm, I'm, I'm rendered speechless. Welcome back to the Steve Malzberg Show. Uh, that was Martin Bashir. Uh, and uh, if, for those of you listening and, and not watching on Newsmax TV, uh, he had a, a sign behind him that said, Alive and Kicking, made me want to sing the song. Alive and Kicking. Anyway, Noel Shepard, associate editor of Newsbusters.org, is here um, just a day early for our Malsberg's Media Madness segment. Hello, Noel. Hello, Steve. You know, you know, can they stoop any lower on MSNBC? The numbers were horrific, pathetic, uh, uh, disappointing. I mean, you name it. And, <clears throat> and they come on saying, oh, the numbers are out, and it's alive and kicking, baby. How embarrassing. Well, I guess it would be embarrassing if these people had shame, and they obviously <laughs> don't. So, look, Martin Bashir at this point, for, for my money, is probably the most dishonest person on television today. Wow. Uh, and, and number two is Ed Schultz. These two are so in the tank. I mean, it, you, you watch their programs back to back. It's two hours of I – mean, and to call them Democrat talking points – I mean, there are even Democrats right now, including President Obama, that are admitting that this hasn't gone well. These guys are so in the tank, they're actually speaking talking points that even the White House is disagree disagreeing with uh, in promoting the White House. It's really, it's astonishing. We're approaching the point, I have to tell your, your, your viewers, we're approaching the point, I'm not sure I can continue to watch MSNBC because I'm starting to lose my sanity. <laughs> no, and, 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 and I'm actually not kidding. The, the past couple of weeks, it has been so, you know, it, 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 it makes you nauseous. It's so bad. It's so over the top. It's so not news. I consider myself to be a news media analyst. This is so far removed from anything close to journalism I'm not sure why any of us pay any attention to it any longer. Well, uh, okay, you mentioned Ed Schultz as the uh, the second most dishonest man, or maybe he's tied with Mart Martin Bashir uh, in, your, in your book for free. Okay, it's close. By uh, the way, I'm not sure that I'm not sure in, in Bashir's case. I'm not sure it's dishonesty because he could just be stupid. It's right. very possible that he actually believes the nonsense coming out of his mouth. But Schultz, I don't think that's true. But, but Schultz, you think is too smart? Yeah, because remember, Schultz changed stripes. Schultz used, Schultz used, yeah, Schultz used to be a, a conservative. Okay. So he yeah. jumped on this bandwagon to make money, and I think he's intelligent. And I mean, and his and his ratings are actually his ratings right now are not that bad. Yeah, well, they took him off and put him on weekends, and they brought him back. Here's here's what he said yesterday. You and by the way, you wrote about the uh, the Bashir uh, uh, piece. You put the video up at newsbusters.org, and you also right. wrote about uh, here is uh, one of the pieces you wrote this week about the aforementioned Ed Schultz. So uh, this will be cut twenty five. I believe that there are uh, reporters and there are uh, television anchors out there that just want to see this fail so they can signature, yeah, I was a part of it. I told you all along wasn't going to make it. I, you know, the thing that amazes me about these people is that they're all well paid. They all have good job security. There's only a few of us that have cable shows. So why would you be against something that's going to hurt other Americans? I, 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 I don't understand that. All right. Well, first of all, he obviously made it maybe a Freudian slip. Why would you be against something that's going to hurt other Americans? Uh, he right. probably meant to, uh, he wanted to say, he help. To say help. It came up. Right. But the point is, he, that was part of a longer uh, diatribe where he's blaming the media right. for wanting Obamacare to fail. Again, what universe is he living in? Exactly. I mean, it really, I mean, that's why I said it's beginning to get difficult for me to watch. Because it's so far removed from any reality, from any any logic, from any sanity, and you have to wonder what are the people. Now I get paid to watch this crap. <laughs> I mean, what are the people who actually volunteer and do this and enjoy it? 
what must they be like? And actually, I know you've met some of them. I've met some of them, too. They're very, very interesting to try to talk to and have an intelligent discussion with. Yeah. It's impossible. Yeah, well, but, you, another another story you wrote, Noel, not to interrupt it, because it, yeah. it dovetails right into this, is how Fox nearly doubles uh, CNN and MSNBC's combined prime time viewership. This was last week. Um, and just for an example, Fox News Channel averaged 2.1 total uh, 2.1 million total viewers, uh, right. MSNBC 716,000, and uh, CNN 433,000. And in the demos, it was uh, b basically same one, two, and three, Fox, MS, and CNN. But, uh, you know, uh, most people are flocking to Fox, but 716,000 is still a lot of people watching MSNBC and hearing this this nonsense. Exactly. But what the other poll that was interesting that YouGov a uh, website called YouGov did either yesterday or the day before showing that more people trust Fox News than Obama. For, for information <laughs> concerning Obamacare than Obama. <laughs> MSNBC, CNN, NBC, and I think either CBS or ABC were way, way down with only like 2% of the Yeah, of yeah. Fox News had 19%, uh, Friends and Family 17%. President right. Obama, 11. 11. You, you had MS yeah. at 3 and CNN at 2. Exactly. Yeah. So, and, and this is, you know, you, you've got now Ed Schultz saying that the media are out there, the, the mainstream media are out there, uh, you know, trying to push for and praying for Obamacare to fail. Certainly the public doesn't see it that way. The public isn't trusting the media's uh, uh, cheerleading. Now, in fairness, we, we've talked about C CBS News has done some very good reporting. Absolutely. About Cheryl Atkinson and others. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and Jan Crawford. Yep. I mean, they've been, they've been doing really well. What's interesting now, as a result of what's occurred with the Benghazi gaffe on 60 Minutes, you've got folks now uh, you know, on MSNBC and other networks trying to point, well, specifically really is MSNBC, pointing to CBS News now is is anti-obama and it shows as a result of that one report well they must be racist too i guess that's coming next well we're all racist yeah but well, that's so. true we're talking to noel shepherd associate editor of newsbusters.org here on the steve malsberg show it's uh malsberg's media madness our weekly segment noel was gracious enough to consent to doing it a day early today because i won't be here tomorrow uh let's go to fox and let's go to kirsten powers and this was quite fascinating. Uh, this is cut number 33. Let's give a listen. See, my blood pressure goes up every time they say that they're protecting us from substandard health insurance plans because there is nothing to support what they're saying. Um, I've talked about how I'm, I'm losing my health insurance. I'm having, if I want to keep the same health insurance, it's going to cost twice as much. There's nothing substandard about my plan. All the things that they say that are not in my plan are in my plan. All of the things that they have listed, uh, th there's no explanation for the doubling of my premiums other than the fact that it's subsidizing other people. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, I mean, Kirsten is, is left of center. She's not an MSNBC liberal. She's a Fox liberal. So, yeah. I mean, let's be, let's be clear. You know, Ed, Ed Koch left. used to describe himself as a liberal with sanity. That's where, that's the category I put her into. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's right. I mean, she's a sane liberal, and, and, and what she's looking at now, I mean, she's being very, very honest. Her plan has been canceled. Uh, it's now going to cost her twice as much to get the same coverage as a result of Obamacare. She's 44 years old, so that means that she's the exact demographic that uh, Obama and the Democrats need for people to sign up because they are indeed going to be the healthy, younger folks who are paying exorbitant premiums. And remember, all of this talk about you're going to be able to get a $50 a month premium. No. No. All a lie, all nonsense. And I'll tell you, when people like her are coming forward and she's willing to go on, on national TV, this was a special report. Special report typically gets one and a half to two million viewers. Yep. A lot of people that are watching. Uh, people like me wrote about it. Uh, there were other websites that wrote about what she said. Basically, she's willing to come out and call the, 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 the Obama administration or the, say that the emperor has no clothes. Uh, this is all we've been talking for several weeks here, Steve. This is all going to get a lot worse. There is no silver lining here. This, this, this supposed cure can't possibly work. You can't go back now. Once someone has had their policy canceled, 
these insurance companies aren't just going to turn around and reissue them at the same premium. How, how can it's, they? How can they? Even the paperwork yeah. is prohibitive. How can they possibly do that? And at the same time, the president the demands that they include uh, 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 literature about better plans they could have and what they would include compared to their. I mean, this is a headache. And he's putting the burden on the insurance companies, and then they're going to be the evil, uh, bad apple insurance That's companies right. all over again. That's the intention now. That is clearly the intention yep. now is to throw this back on the insurance companies. And if you don't get your plan, it's not because of me. It's because of them. Right. The American people are not going to buy this. No, the I, American I, people yeah. knew, know who threw the monkey wrench into the soup here, and they know his name is Obama. It is not the insurance companies. And the insurance companies here are going to be – Hard pressed. It's going to be very, very difficult. I mean, there are certainly some people who will be able to get reissued. But let's assume that you've had a policy for five years or 10 years. You've been with the same insurance company, let's say Farmers. OK, during that period, you contracted, let's say, cancer or any number of things. But let's say you now have a previous a pre-existing condition that was covered because you were insured prior to getting that condition right now but now that your policy has been canceled crazy they're not going to give you that policy because you now have a pre-existing that, that, condition it, 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 it's it's totally insane no i want to fit one more in because this was such a great piece you did you know we all heard about tom cruise uh, reportedly comparing himself to the soldiers in Afghanistan and what a hard job he has. Here's Mark Wahlberg uh, slamming. How are you going to play it? There's oh, so we're going to play it because we have technological capabilities far beyond <laughs> those of mortal men. Uh, here's cut number 45. For actors to sit there and talk about, oh, I was went to SEAL training and I slept on the mountain. I don't give a f what you did. You don't do what these guys do. You just don't. My job is as difficult as somebody in the military. How dare you? You know, or you sit in the makeup chair two hours. I don't give a shit if you're getting your ass. Bucked. All right, I don't know Ooh. how that got in. I don't Ooh. know how that got I in. Didn't, I didn't hear it. Uh, the, well, yeah, I, I don't know how that got in. My apologies. Uh, <laughs> we're supposed to have been stopped before then, but nonetheless. Um, what, he, what you didn't hear was he said, how effing dare you, uh, basically, to Tom Cruise about comparing himself to military people. Well, but there is an update to this that's interesting because— All right, we got a minute, so go ahead. Less than a minute. Oh, okay, yeah, because TMZ followed up with, uh, with Wahlberg, and he now says that he wasn't speaking specifically about Tom Cruise, that he's a, a big fan of Cruise and a good friend of Cruise, that he, that he had heard that, that there were actors that were making this claim and that he was speaking generically about actors. <laughs> what a, what other claim. actors? Who else is making the claim? Yeah. No, I, I, I think that he's gotten a little bit of pushback. As ah. He was in a, a, you know, a, a somewhat close, it wasn't a closed Q&A. Yeah, yeah. All, no, it was there. a forum, yeah. Well, yeah, you knew going to get out very but. interesting no very all right we'll follow up on this next week i'm sure there'll be more to talk about with it thank you noel sounds good have a nice week you too noel shepherd associate editor newsbusters.org maulsburg's media Matt.